Listen, listen. Episode one was kind of shaky, but people watched it. And I'm like, why is the viewership doing so well on this video? I thought this shit was so mid. But then episode two happened. And what happened? The actual opening started to play. The visuals showed. <laughs> Fenris is doing maid dances. She's giving us a moi moi kyun. And then the entirety of episode two was just Aruji sama, Ojo sama. I just, it's, it's the whole master servant, beast girl maid. And I'm like, okay, I see the future. I see the potential of this show now. And everyone just was just waiting for episode two. I had no clue. I was like, what is this shitty ass fucking isekai? I'll just check it out. But Fenris, I'm starting to realize is hard carrying this show. Now, there's some other important plot, right? the quote-unquote Yusha that got summoned here, right? He basically got defeated by these, like, psycho bears. Not even the official demon army on his way to the demon army got beat by the psycho bears. He ran home, and now he's, like, holed up in his room. He's not gonna come out until, you know, everyone else can at least fight the psycho bears. I think that even the king is starting to realize what a piece of shit the hero is, but it's pretty funny to see that. And how funny will it be when they realize that we have a psycho bear as a familiar? Albeit, it has turned into this, like, cute little bunny with like a drill horn but when they figure out what that really is i feel like that's gonna be pretty hype but hey let's begin today's episode fenris hello tanda sama <laughs> she was staring at you that's right we've married her right <laughs> you know i uh, i'm waiting for her to say darling but she keeps saying you know danna sama danna sama is probably what is that what is Danna sama actually? Something like master? But I'm waiting for her to say darling like how Miku does in Data Live. Or even that other girl, like that Zero Two girl, right? I see clips of that Zero Two girl from that, uh, what's that show? Isn't it literally called Darling in the Franks or some shit? Like, I'm kind of waiting for that. Oh, Danna sama means my dear husband? That is even more lewd. Never mind, I think Danna sama is beyond darling. Her body. <laughs> No, 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 no. We're just trying to not objectify you, okay? <laughs> yeah, these people, they just say, you want to fuck? <laughs> You're gonna sleep in the fucking hallway? Is that so bad? <laughs> She's gonna change our clothes too? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh. <laughs> what, is it the wrong idea though? Ooh, big boar. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing fucking introducing yourself as a royal in front of this fucking boar? You think this boar fucking understand what the fuck you're talking about? No. And come on now, how the fuck is gonna run away once it jumps at you? <laughs> Bro, come on. My coup didn't mage. Archer. <laughs> that was a direct hit. That was actually sad. She actually hit the thing. It just bounced off. <laughs> what is this fucking Megumin from fucking Target? Megumin from Walmart. Sorry, I shouldn't do Betty that like that, but come on now. You can do something better than. <laughs> Danna sama, help! We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> Just comical. Look at all four of them running away from the boar. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, uh, you know what else is soft? Do they all get their own bed? They were sleeping on the floor the entire time. <laughs> Raw meat. I mean... Ah, uh, beef, you, 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 there are some slices you can eat raw, right? You, you can. I prefer, like, you know, medium rare. But, like, I, I, I don't, she can't cook for shit, can she? She can't cook for fucking shit. This is better than Shion. Shion would have made the ingredients into some kind of poison sludge, bro. This is, like, at least it's, like, actual nice cuts of meat. You just need to apply a little bit of heat onto it. Just a little bit. Medium rare, please. Can you cook it? Wait, 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 wait. That was not psycho bear meat, was it? Was that a psycho bear? The boar that we were fighting? If it was, isn't this fucking cannibalism right here? 
That's boar meat, right? That's not a psycho bear. It was a psycho bear? Was it? Okay, because I'm like, you know, our familiar is a psycho bear, and it's like eating this meat, and I'm like, if that was a psycho bear, that's, that's kind of fucked up, but it, it, it's, it's boar, it's boar. Hunsu, <laughs> Hunsu! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Dan Nasama can cook. Demi's gonna get jealous. Body Rosa helped, huh? Uh oh! Maybe you should retire the sword. Oh, that's why I was like, you know, this noble girl is pretty down to earth and was even fine with like sleeping on the floor, but it's like she's from a fallen household, so they're kind of like just by name, they were nobility. Looks good. <laughs> Fenris hates vegetables. <laughs> Leaves are only food for small, weak beasts that can't hunt meat, right? Because like carnivores versus like herbivores. I guess they're omnivores too, but in like the animal kingdom, it's like if you eat vegetables, you're a fucking pussy. Eat your greens, Fenris. Dietary fiber and those micronutrients are important. How is it? Umai! <laughs> Try to sear the meat. Yeah. You got that malleared chemical process, making that crust outside, that sear. Pull it out at 110 degrees, let it cook internally for 120. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. That's our group, yeah? These boars are that impressive, huh? Okay. She wants to be alone. Maybe she's trying to pick out a gift for Danna sama. Something in private. What's Fenris gonna do? What pamphlet is this? Something to do with cooking, I think. She might be getting scammed. In service of the hero. Fuck you. Fuck the king. But it's like, the king is a, king is a fucking asshole. Same with the hero. They're all fucking pussies. But like, these people, it's not their fault, right? So I feel like helping them out isn't bad. It's just that I don't want to help out the fucking king, but ugh, whatever. A rank magic beast. I mean, if you got money, buy now or never. Time's running out. Giga Chad. Yeah, we're chilling here, right? <laughs> the title's literally called like chilling in another world with level two cheat skills or some shit, right? So it's like, fuck it. I'm not the Isekai MC here. Let that motherfucker handle the Demon King, bro. I'm chilling. <laughs> fuck the safety of these people here. Uh oh, oh, what you get? She's all dirty. What happened to you? Why are you so dirty? She has some kind of pamphlet and she was looking and there seems to be some kind of woman with a cauldron. Did she try cooking again? What did you fight? An oven? <laughs> that is the most fucking... That's pretty... I don't know. That, 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 that's like, oh, your only use for a woman is to fucking make a man feel full. And that's how you will, you know, you know like lock him down. It's such an old way of thinking. But okay, Fenris went to have some cooking lessons. What did she battle here? A fucking stove? Oh, God. Oh, God. Salt Bay. Salt Bay. Salt Bay. No, you got to Salt Bay it. Come on now. I see, that's what happened. The blow weight! So like, I don't know if it's scientifically true, but apparently, the hot, like blue flame is like the most hottest flame ever. I forget the, I, the, uh, the logic behind it. Something about the color of the fire will change with the temperature and blue is like the hottest fire or something. That's what happened. <laughs> Oh, this piece of shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bro, we got eight fucking girls on it. And you know what the best part is? I bet all these girls don't even care about him. 
If you look at their eyes, bro, no, they in it for the fucking money. I hope these gold diggers take everything from this piece of shit, dude. You deserve this. Okay, she's kind of... Okay, um... <laughs> shit, she, she looking real nice. I think Fenris has like a... <laughs> I think Fenris has some rival. <laughs> Wait, what did she say? What did she say? Hold on. Can't tell if she's like playing him like a puppet. I think I remember last episode too. This girl here was acting a little sus, like intentionally speaking kind of dumb and just going along with it. But she feels like, you know, in Gate right now, how Prince Zolzal is getting puppeteered by Tude and Tude's, you know, they just think that like, oh, she's just a prostitute. I feel like she is just like the master puppeteer here. She's the puppet master, I think. Yeah, I think so. Are we getting summoned? <laughs> yes, friends. Clama. Do those pa This is partial transformation, right? Yeah, she can do like partial transformation. The turtleneck, one has to ask themselves, what is the point of a turtleneck sweater? Well, it's super cold, so you want to have like the, the upper, you know, turtleneck, right? The whole sweater, and that's the utility of a turtleneck. But then people have realized that, what if we just cut off the sleeves of a turtleneck? And then what if you empty out the back? Now, suddenly, you have what's called a virgin killer to accentuate, you know, the assets. <laughs> Sabe is very cute. <laughs> is she- are, are we just not gonna, like, become, like, fighters? And she's just gonna, like, go all in on farming now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> she still sucks at aiming. <laughs> That's cute to you?! Ah, it's got kids. Ah, I'll leave him alone. It's gonna help her reserve her mana better? That's the wedding finger! <laughs> She she was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then Fenris was fucking ready with it. <laughs> Holy shit, she was fucking ready. <laughs> Bitch, you acting like a maiden in distress? Fenris is actually hard carrying this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a thumbnail. I don't think she's giving an act though. I think she's genuinely weak. No, nah, she's not trying. She's not trying. Then is just very overly protective. Have we seen this girl before? That's a new cat girl. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, she made ombu rice. I mean, that still looks like raw meat, what you're cutting down there, but yeah, she has leveled up. She can't go to the cooking lessons, yeah? The teacher seems to have given up. Bro, this is a meal arc from Skimmy Shimmel and Fantasy, bro. They started off really bad, and then they started to get a little bit better and better, and then they can cook now. And even the, you know, the, I think she's an elf, I'm not sure. The cooking instructor's so proud. Dude, she was looking like she was ready to give up on this girl before, the when she used to blue flame. Man, we are really chilling in the world, huh? We're like developing different chilling skills. How spicy did she make it though? Because she said spice. I thought she might have like overloaded on spice to like, you know, be like, if you have more spice, it's more love. Who is this girl? She knows Fenris. Right. I forget. Fenris was actually part of like the demon side, right? The Dark Army's bravest woman warrior was Fenris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. She's the cat pun girl last episode. Yes, yes, yes. I was even talking about how she was doing so many cat puns. And what is this? Nyao. Nyaruhodu. What are you doing, Nya? Thank you, Mew. 
ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっ
Are you back for round two or are, are, are they gifts or are you here to fight? What, what is this? <laughs> Bro does not give a fuck. I always wanted to see a dragon. Holy magic. Magic circles, more OP shit. Jesus Christ, did the lightning strikes. Bro, that was like faster than the fucking other fight. These AoE lightning strikes, they all got turned into fucking barbecue square lizards. Uh, now, now what? Now what? <laughs> the other dragons that survived. Ain't no way. I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> that would have been funny, actually. Yeah. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, you're cheating! We just boosted her! <laughs> Alright, this is a fucking bus run now in fucking MMOs. You want, you know what, you want the most, you know, you want the title for clearing this raid? Alright, get on the fucking bus, pay your gold. I want to be Dragon Slayer 2, please! Dark one! Because we're the real Yusha. Wait, Mao showing up? And that's the episode. Today was, was another episode of just chilling in another world. And Fenris is just hard fucking caring. It's cool to see some of the more you know power fantasy aspects of it, even though we're just chilling, like you know, killing all these boars or the the, the what's it called, the psycho bears. It's like, whoa, you killed all these A rank bears, like A rank bear. That's fucking crazy. And then Fenris also had her little cooking, you know, a little uh, lessons. One of the funniest things is probably Fenris just like thinking that the other girls are after Danna sama So even like the ring, right? The ring or like Barirosa acting like she's playing weak to get you know Danna samas attention. This is actually peak comedy. I'm enjoying this a lot and there's actually some great animations too. Especially around Fenris whenever she starts attacking. Now, the hero seems to be manipulated by this girl. This girl, the way she talks, it's a little bit too deliberate in how clumsy or ditzy she sounds. And I think last episode too, there was something suspicious about her. So I'm going to assume that she is the one that's kind of controlling the the, the prince, sorry, the, the hero. And I think she is the princess of the king, if I'm not mistaken. This other cat girl, I feel like she's just going to join our side pretty soon. And I don't know how, like, 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 you know how we denied the king's request to join them as like an RA knight? And that's perfectly fine. Fuck the king, right? Fuck them. But what would happen if they realized that Fenris was, used to be part of the demon army? Because even now, they're making a big deal in today's episode about how Fenris used to be in the demon army, but then our girls were like, nah, we're not going to report you. We're not like that. But I guarantee you, if the hero, if someone around them started to understand that Fenris is associated with that, maybe they would have an excuse to start shit with us. And then that gives us an excuse to shit back on the hero. And it's going to be so fucking good. I can't wait for that to happen. And I think the demon lord is going to finally make his move. Finally! What do you mean, finally? It's a fucking episode three or four. Mao is already making a move, but I don't think that Mao has... Is like, is he gonna stand a chance? Or is he gonna turn into a fucking gag character? And he just gonna, we're just gonna be like chilling together. I hope it's the latter. I don't want the show to be like super serious and, you know, like epic. It'd be funny if he showed up. We just like clapped him and we just like cooked together or some shit. I think that'd be hilarious, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, Please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.